So hey guys, this week on Wood Heat Wednesday, let's talk about getting some of that nice heat that comes from the wood stove into some harder to reach places. Let's get into it. So one thing that we have found that makes a several degree difference for us is distributing the air, one, by setting a fan really low to the ground and then blowing it in the direction towards the stove. So if you got your stove on one side of the house and you got a room way on the other side of the house that you're trying to warm up, down by your that cold room, blow that cold air towards the wood stove. It's more of a dense air. It'll push that heat out and push it back towards that cooler room. We've noticed a difference by several degrees by actually blowing it towards the stove versus trying to push it back the other way. They also have fans that you can mount up in the corner of different doorways. And if you have certain rooms that you have the ability to open up a little airway or a vent system above the door so that the air doesn't get trapped there and can flow freely between the rooms, really can make a pretty big difference as well. So if you have a ceiling fan, there's two different modes that you can run this in. There's one that pushes all the air downward and then there's the reverse mode. A lot of times in the winter months, we'll put ours in the reverse mode because it helps pull the cold air up, drive the hot air down and distribute a little bit better in the house. So one little cool little thing, uh, if you're someone that's looking to save a little money on electricity or maybe you live off grid or have a cabin that's off the beaten path, and want to be able to run a fan but don't want to either a pay for the electricity or have access to it they make these fans called eco fans no electricity required to run these things they just have to get up to 185 degrees run strictly off the heat uh, to be able to power this fan pretty neat little thing they don't move a ton of air but they definitely do move enough air to make a difference you're just not going to be able to push that air all the way across some huge large area like you would with a you know box fan on high or something like that So one thing we probably do need to touch on is just your stove setup. It's not always the easiest thing to upgrade, but if you're like in the midst of just getting a stove or in the idea of upgrading here in the near future, it gets a lot easier. Do the homework up front. It really will pay off. Making sure you have a stove that's sized right for your house um, and paying attention to just your type of setup. It really can play a big difference. An open floor plan layout, it tends to get a lot easier to distribute that heat when things start getting closed off. Uh, might make a little bit more sense to do something like a wood burner uh, furnace type setup or maybe an outdoor boiler with some in-floor heat or an air exchanger that uh, ducks into your existing uh, ductwork in your house. That way you can heat every little nook and, and cranny in there. If you have an open fireplace, going to an insert can make a tremendous difference. It gives you the ability to control the air. The problem with a lot of these open fireplaces is that they're the most inefficient way to heat with wood. Uh, most of all your heat's going up the chimney. They're about 12% efficient, so you burn a lot, a lot of wood and you don't get a lot of return for it. So just by going to an insert uh, can make a tremendous difference. So along with that, wood stove location is uh, critical as well. I mean, obviously if you have a wood stove that sits down in your basement, heat rises, it's a lot easier to distribute that heat versus having a wood stove up in your attic and trying to push that heat down. Another little simple little thing is if you have certain rooms that you just don't use, closing those rooms off. There's no point in driving a bunch of heat into those rooms if you're not using them. So these are just a couple tips that I thought I would offer up. Are there anything I miss or are there anything that you have to share? I'd love to hear about them in the comments below. 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.